Are you looking to know what is the most effective treatment for tinnitus? The effective treatment of your tinnitus will come down to an accurate diagnosis by your doctor and the skill and experience of the professional you're working with about how to address the root cause of your tinnitus. In this video, we will explore today's most medically validated tinnitus research to answer the question, what is the most effective treatment for tinnitus? Hey, my name is Ben Thompson. I'm an audiologist in California and founder of Pure Tinnitus. In this video, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about the most effective treatments for tinnitus. And this will be based off of a research article called Treatment of Tinnitus, a Scoping Review. I will also make a lot of references to the program called Progressive Tinnitus Management. That is the newest comprehensive treatment protocol for tinnitus. And that was created by the US Veterans Affairs Hospital who focuses on treating tinnitus for military veterans. Treating tinnitus is not always easy and it often doesn't happen overnight, but in many cases you can reduce the volume of your tinnitus and your perceived annoyance of the tinnitus through different techniques. Well, let's get right into it. Today we're going to be covering the different causes of tinnitus, the different treatment options that are out there for you, and the two most scientifically validated protocols for tinnitus treatment that are accepted by the medical community at large. The common causes of tinnitus are hearing loss, loud noise exposure, an injury to your ear, an ear infection, a traumatic injury to the ear or the brain, medication, different kinds of drugs that can cause tinnitus, as well as periods of high stress or high anxiety that can trigger a loud period of tinnitus. Sometimes tinnitus has a very simple cause like earwax or ear infection, where with proper medical intervention, it can improve pretty rapidly. But most kinds of tinnitus, they have a longer time frame to heal, to recover, to get better. Whenever we talk about the cause of tinnitus, we have to talk about the psychological anxiety and stress that can be contributing to tinnitus and make it much worse. There's a relationship between part of your psychology called the limbic system and your nervous system of the physical body. And that has pathways that communicate with the auditory areas of your brain. The brain cells that are causing your tinnitus, they're in your auditory cortex, in your brain. Now those neurons, they get signals from other parts of your brain. So one of the main reasons why tinnitus becomes a problem in people's life is because we have a strong psychological reaction to the tinnitus and that affects our body, which then sends a feedback signal back to the tinnitus, makes it louder. When you're hearing a loud noise, the common response reaction is to be on high alert because our bodies are trying to protect ourselves. If we need to run really quickly from a threat, we can do it. If we need to freeze and be on high alert and make sure no one's gonna pounce on us, we can do it. This is called the fight or flight response and it's designed to help us. But with tinnitus, when we have this loud signal coming from within our head, our body incorrectly thinks that it's a threat. The tinnitus is not a threat. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to kill you. It cannot physically touch you. Of course, it's loud and that has its own set of challenges. But to simply understand this, that the catastrophic thinking that the tinnitus is going to get so much worse and that it's really hurting you and you can't stand it, that kind of thinking actually intensifies the reaction and the response. And that can create this downward spiral that can really be the root cause of most people's challenging tinnitus. But some of you have tinnitus and you're not stuck in this fight or flight response. The most effective way to treat tinnitus involves addressing the underlying psychological system that may be contributing to the noise, as well as creating a sound rich environment with increased auditory stimulation. The auditory stimulation, it does not need to be loud, but we need to have soft, constant noise, comforting, soothing noise in our system. This can give the signal to our body and our auditory pathway that this tinnitus noise, it's not a threat. It's just like any other kinds of noise. Also, when you have a sound rich environment with soothing, relaxing sounds, you can check another video about sound therapy. I'll put a link in the description. When you have these kinds of relaxing, soothing sounds, comparatively, our tinnitus is not as loud. So you're able to live your life, you're able to do the things you need to do, like focus on your work, 
like be able to have a conversation with someone, like being able to enjoy some sense of peace and quiet when you're by yourself. All of this is supported by the use of sound therapy, having a sound rich environment, as well as addressing the underlying psychological component that might be making the tinnitus much worse and much more annoying than it really has to be. The different systems used to treat tinnitus typically involve cognitive behavioral therapy techniques, the use of amplification of sound via a hearing aid, and the use of sound therapy in that sound rich environment, which can happen from various audio sources, some of them being hearing aids, that's typically the easiest and most long-term sustainable solution, or you can use things like your own phone or a speaker around your house to provide that soothing, relaxing, sound rich environment throughout your quiet parts of your day. The two best treatment protocols that are supported by the medical community are progressive tinnitus management and tinnitus retraining therapy. I work with these different protocols myself. I've seen the effect it can have on people's lives. So let's get into it. Tinnitus retraining therapy is based on the neurophysiological model of tinnitus and it's performed by an audiologist. It was created in 1995 by Paul Jastroboff. And this was the first major realization that the sound of tinnitus was impacted by other areas of our system. Not only the auditory system, but the limbic system, the emotional brain, the nervous system, the fight or flight response, how when those mechanisms are a part of the equation, the tinnitus gets much louder. The main goal of tinnitus retraining therapy is to reduce the negative reactions to tinnitus and subsequently, that is followed by a reduction in the tinnitus perception or the noise, the loudness, the volume itself. The negative reactions to tinnitus can be physiological and behavioral. Physiological negative reactions include anxiety, loss of sleep, and stress hormones being fired from your body. None of these are in your conscious control, but they're all affecting the state of your tinnitus. The different kinds of behavioral negative reactions are related to concentration, your focus, your attention, your quality of life, and your energy levels. I have seen tinnitus retraining therapy work for not only my clients, but in the audiology community at large. And it's because it focuses not only on the sound therapy via hearing aids, ear level noise generators, or sound soothing sounds in your environment, but it also has a focus on the psychological component, which is related to anxiety and stress. And when I work with clients who have anxiety and stress and tinnitus, usually when we focus on the anxiety, on improving our energy, our sleep, our overall wellness, which helps stress, then tinnitus becomes less of a problem and they feel more like themselves, more back to normal. And that's one of our goals for tinnitus retraining therapy. Now let's talk about progressive tinnitus management. This is gonna be the second protocol and this is a newer protocol. This was designed around 2005 by the Veterans Administration, the Veterans Hospital in the United States. Of course, the military veterans have a high prevalence for tinnitus from their loud noise exposure in service. So there's a lot of government funding, there's a lot of money into researching what is the best treatment protocol for tinnitus. As you know, there's no magic surgery or pill or cure for tinnitus to make it go back to zero, to silence. So we're focused on the best management, the best treatment possible. And progressive tinnitus management, it's not only the newest protocol that I'm talking about today, but it is the most robust and I personally designed our pure tinnitus programs based off of progressive tinnitus management. So I'm excited to share what the details are to you right now. Progressive tinnitus management has five different levels of patient care. So everyone starts out in the first level, which is a hearing test and some basic information about tinnitus. Each level of care progressively gets more hands-on and individualized for those who are having the biggest problems related to their tinnitus. A patient who needs more advanced level of care, first they would start in a group program, and that's what I base Pure Tinnitus group coaching off of. The next step would be more individualized care. Someone who needs individualized care and an appointment with an audiologist or a therapist for their tinnitus, they may be receiving some cognitive behavioral techniques, ear level noise generators or hearing aids, 
and they also may just be receiving some counseling to get into these root causes of the challenging tinnitus, which may partly be related to their psychology. So both progressive tinnitus management and tinnitus retraining therapy focus on the psychological and the sound therapy components for tinnitus treatment. So if you were to ask me what is the most effective tinnitus treatment, it's going to be one that gets into these core psychological challenges related to stress or anxiety and improving your everyday wellness because that has a direct impact on your psychology. Also, it's going to be in your best interest to use nearly constant, and there's no magic number, but most hours of the day when you're in a quiet place, have some soothing, relaxing background sounds so that you're not hearing the loud tinnitus all the time and it doesn't send you into a downward spiral of getting fixated on it. Also, most people do benefit from wearing hearing aids, especially if you have a hearing loss. So that's something that we would work through. Now that explains most of what is the best effective treatment protocols for tinnitus. Now, if you're wondering how do you make progress, how do you start some of these techniques or how do you follow these protocols, I developed Pure Tinnitus and the programs that we offer based on progressive tinnitus management. You can check our website out, puretinnitus.com, if you wanna learn more. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to subscribe to our channel, please do. We have free videos all about tinnitus and hearing. You're going to learn a lot if you stay on this channel. On my side, this next video that I recommend is called What is Pure Tinnitus Group Coaching? This was based off of progressive tinnitus management. If you wanna learn more, click this video on the side, and I'll see you there.